Uh, my name is Dr. Drew Sinatra. I'm a naturopathic doctor. I practice in Mill Valley, California. I live just north of Mill Valley in Nevada, California. I've lived in California now for a year. Before that, I was previously in uh, Vancouver, uh, British Columbia. My wife's Canadian. It's the reason that we went up there for uh, five, six years. And uh, currently, we're loving California. So as a kid, I, I really suffered pretty badly with um, asthma and allergies. Started around age six or seven. And um, I was um, I was sent to the ER uh, many times because I just couldn't breathe and the, the, um, the albuterol inhaler that I had just wasn't working anymore. So luckily, you know, going to the ER, they had some nebulized albuterol, great life-saving drug, put on some prednisone perhaps, great life-saving drug, really helped me out. Um, and that was really challenging for me because I, I, I was sort of a sick kid. And I remember I was in the allergen office um, I must have been like 12 years old or so. And I was looking around and I was seeing all these sick kids around me. They just looked pale, they looked frail, they just looked unhealthy. And I, I said to myself, I don't want to be this kid anymore. I don't want to be sick. And so at that point, I actually consciously made the decision that I, I don't want to be ill anymore. And actually having that, that change in my brain was actually a huge stimulus for me getting better. So I, I went to Franklin Marshall College and I studied neuroscience there, which was a blend of um, you know, studying the brain and also studying biology, which I was really interested in at that time. And, uh, you know, like I said before, I, I, I was heading towards the conventional medical school route until I, something wasn't right. I just wasn't really happy with the whole conventional medicine model. And so I wanted something more. Growing up with my dad, Dr. Stephen Sinatra, um, I saw what he was bringing to his patients. I saw, um, I had actually visit him in the office sometimes as a young child and I just would, would see the interactions that he'd have with his patients, and they were, they were almost magical in a way. Um, so I saw that from a young age, and then as I, as I grew older, I remember there was an experience where he came home and he brought home some fruits and vegetables. And I asked him, I said, Dad, what, what are you doing with this bag of fruits and veggies? And he said, well, a patient gave it to me. And I asked him a couple more questions, and saying, well, okay, so why did this patient give you these fruits and veggies? And he said, well, they couldn't afford my care, so that's what they gave me. Um, you know, as sort of a barter. And I saw that, and as like a 12 year old, that really touched me deeply. And I said, you know, that's, that's the kind of doctor I want to be, is to be able to provide my patients whenever I can.